whereas recent statistics suggest improvement in female genital mutilation and few other issues that affect women and the girl child, still, gender-based violence is an abiding reality, challenging the ability of women to enjoy their womanhood and contribute to national development. Social and gender norms, both described as unwritten rules and expectations that define acceptable standard group or roles within the family have been identified as underlying factors by experts who are gathered at this summit, organized in partnership with Renewed Hope Initiative to build needed solidarity against the menace. Leading the charge, Nigeria's First Lady Olura Mitsunobu says while state-specific action plans are developed and allocation of adequate resources are promoted in government budget to support gender equality initiatives, law enforcement must be prioritized to stem violence against women. Even our babies are violated. Do we allow this trend to continue or do we look the other way? That is why I'm calling on the law enforcement agencies, the Inspector General of Police, the Attorney General of the Federation, the Chairman of the National Assembly, to appropriate and enforce stiffer laws and punishments for perpetrators of rape, violence, and other forms of gender-based violence. No guilty party should be allowed to go free and start roaming the streets looking for the next victim. The first point of call is, of course, to ensure that all our girls attend school. We, the Ministry of Women Affairs, we've moved further to make sure there will be consequences if you commit such crime. We have our whistleblowers that will give us information in case they try it again. The Federal Ministry of Youth Development has concluded plans to establish a new department of youth well-being. This department is dedicated, will be dedicated to tackling issues such as gender-based violence, harmful social norms, and addressing and providing support for mental health to young people. Getting the buy-in of the subnationals and traditional institutions is key. We are working at the grassroots to support you in getting a and as a token of their commitment to carry the torch in their respective states, wives of state governors joined the First Lady to sign a compact agreement on the resolutions of the summit from the banquet hall of the presidential villa. Adini Itaiwo, NT News.